Hey guys, this is uh, Metal War God here, and uh, I've been watching some videos online and guys showing their gear room, and uh, I'm gonna actually show you a couple of my rooms that I have that I uh, where I play vinyl and CDs and stuff, and I'm gonna start out in my metal cave, and of course uh, I start out with. With this, actually, I got this newer receiver here today, the new Sherwood, and uh, it is a, the RX4508 and 100 watts per channel, and uh, it's just something that I picked up here. In fact, it came today. Uh, it's something I wanted new for this room, and uh, uh, I had a Pioneer in here, but uh, I, I put that away and bought this. And then uh, with the turntable, I use an Audio Technica. I use a, an ATLP 120, which is a direct drive. It's not fully automatic. Uh, it doesn't uh, return when the album's done. You gotta make sure uh, you do that yourself. But uh, great turntable, sounds great. I got an Audio Technica cartridge on it. Uh, probably one of my favorite turntables I've ever bought in, and uh, good stuff there. And then uh, up here, I, for a CD player, I run a Pioneer PDR 509. It's actually a, uh, a CD player and a CD recorder. I used to do a lot of recording and trading back in CDs over the years. Um, uh, probably about 10 years ago. I don't do that much anymore. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, that is the system in here and then with the speakers I run these advents I picked them up at a pawn shop about 20 years ago for like 60 bucks and uh, I mean heavy speakers uh, probably the heaviest speakers that I, I own uh, they also have a fuse in the back both of them so uh, you don't blow the you don't blow the speakers you blow the fuse before you do the speakers and these babies crank and uh, at one time I thought they were blowing and for the longest time I could not figure out how to get the cover off finally I got the cover off and uh, I looked at them and the foam on the 8 inch were uh, deteriorated so I bought some new uh, foam uh, circles for them, glued them back in, and they sound fantastic. They actually sound better now than they did when I first got them. So uh, if, if you ever think about throwing speakers away, don't. Because you can definitely fix them. Uh, all you got to do is look at the covers, uh, go online and see if you can order uh, foam circles for them, cones, or well, for the cones anyway, and then uh, uh, fix them and repair them. So anyway, uh, yeah, they're great speakers. I'm glad I kept them. So over here is where I run uh, my radio show on Wednesdays. Uh, I run two speakers or two mics. I run an Audio Technica, which when I don't do interviews, I just use that main one. And then over here, I run a Yeti Blue that when I do interviews, I use that one. Awesome stuff. And uh, anyway, so uh, in addition into this room, I'm gonna show you uh, some of the music I have. Uh, of course, I've got uh, tapes. I don't have a tape deck in here. I got a tape deck elsewhere. And I've had these uh, cassette tapes for probably, God, almost 30 years now. And uh, over here are all my music videos that I currently have watched and go back on occasion to watch them. And uh, so uh, anyway, that's some of the CDs and, or uh, DVDs and cassettes. And then I have a little area down here that are uh, uh, CDs. That's just a minor, that's not even a close to what I have. I'll show you that later. But uh, CDs down here that uh, usually if I play them on my truck, I usually kind of put them in here. And then I, 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 I do a video on what's been banging my head lately. And so those are some of them and then uh, of course I got my hats some Maiden, Strict 9, Ilium, 
uh, Black Sabbath shoes, King Diamond shoes, and so forth. Uh, down there, I got a few albums. Uh, those are this side here is the ones that I play or haven't heard and play, and then they go back. They go over here to finish ones and, and vinyl. That's not even hardly anything of what I got. And then uh, I have some more down there. And then uh, in addition to the music, the DVDs, the CDs, uh, I also have uh, posters, sign posters, frame posters, frame band stuff. Uh, you remember this one here? Uh, years and years ago with the uh, cassette players, Max L. I found this in a uh, a college. We were doing some remodeling and uh, this was in here and uh, I kept it and I put it on the wall. Good stuff. I'm glad I kept that. Of course over here are some more uh, picture or uh, pictures, a bag from Earache, some signed autographs, frame pictures, uh, just a few posters that I just I didn't frame. And there's uh, another one that's signed by Ruthless some vengeance there's a back patch for a jacket and then some mind maze you know I just got all kinds of stuff here and uh, I changed this wall here about a week and a half ago and I strictly just went to sign and autograph stuff so uh, anyway uh, some of my primal fear stuff huge primal fear fan and then uh, Drumsticks, uh, Slayer Candy, Exodus Flask, Motorhead Belt Buckles, you know, just a lot of stuff. And uh, of course, I also have uh, flags. This one happens to be Gravedigger. And then I have the doors and uh, a couple of uh, sweatshirts. One's a Primal Fear. One's a Black Sabbath, and then I have uh, a huge accept flag, and then up here I got a primal fear. I've got a cage. I've got Lord. I've got Civil War, and that's one I just hung today as Flotsam and Jetsam. So uh, this is the majority of where I do a lot of my listening. Uh, most of my online stuff, of course, I got uh, I got some Harman Kardon uh, uh, computer speakers and uh, awesome, awesome speakers for the computer. And uh, so, anyway, this is what consists of my metal cave and where I do most of my uh, listening. I just redid all of this. So, anyway, we're going to go out into this room here. And uh, this is where I have all of my, C most of my CDs, not all of them, but uh, as you can see, I got a bunch of uh, stuff up here, uh, some Kiss stuff, some Hot Wheels, some football stuff, some coolers, some cars. And uh, this is actually a very rare Prowler splatter pack. Only 25 in existence. I have number 25. Uh, the band is no longer together, but it's very, very rare. But anyway, here's uh, a lot of my CDs that I have. Side two here, of course. I've got a bunch up there. Uh, Eddie. Some more, uh, more CDs. I have a ton of CDs, as you can tell. So out here, in this room, was my main room where I did a lot of my uh, listening. Uh, but I don't do much anymore out here. But I do have this out here. Of course, I run this uh, Techniques Audio Video control receiver which is an SADX 1050 awesome receiver uh, one of my favorite receivers I've ever owned 
it, it, I mean, it, it, it's my TV entertainment system. And uh, so, yeah, it's awesome. And then, of course, I have a 25 disc changer from Pioneer, which is a PD-1507. Uh, awesome CD player. The only thing I don't like is uh, I wish, well, you can actually go random on it, so it'll play any any CD in a random. You can go random, and it'll play just about anything. You can play songs. Uh, you can play CDs in order. But uh, I love this. It's a it's a great CD player. And then down here I have my cassette player, which is a JVC, and uh, that is a TDW two one eight double cassette deck. My second one I've ever owned. Uh, and uh, this plays awesome, works great, Beatles. love it, Super two for Tuesday and uh, it's good three. stuff there. And then up here, uh, I used to have this in my metal cave, this turntable here, which is a Techniques, which is a SLBD20 belt drive. Um, I replaced the belt on this, put a new cartridge on it, and figuring it would, it would sound great. It sounded good, but for some odd reason, it, it, it doesn't sound like it should, but not unlike the Audio Technica. I think there's something wrong uh, with the tone arm a little bit. I mean, it plays and it'll only be used as a backup. So anyway, that is, uh, and then the speakers, I run these Pioneer 501s, awesome speakers. Uh, one of my first speakers I ever owned, still have them. The cones are good. These are 10 inch pair there. So uh, anyway. And then uh, I run a Magnavox Blu-ray DVD player. Now I actually don't play a lot of uh, Blu-rays. I play mostly uh, regular uh, DVDs. So anyway, uh, that is the system out here in my living room. Uh, down here I have a bunch of uh, uh, box sets, limited edition uh, collector items, some Iron Maiden, Watts. Uh, box sets down underneath there. Uh, I'll get them out of there. I just got to build a room for them. And then uh, all my vinyl, which is down here. It's pretty much all alphabetized. Uh, and they, these are uh, albums that I haven't put into crates yet. I have to listen to most of them yet. But anyway, that's a few of the albums there. And uh, then over here is my secondary computer system. Uh, I don't use it much, it's just the backup. And it has uh, Bose speakers, which are awesome. The only thing it doesn't have, it doesn't have a mid on it. it just has the two uh, upright speakers. So anyway, that is some of the stuff over here. And in addition to uh, the CDs I showed you earlier, these are uh, all CDRs that I used to uh, trade uh, and with the Pioneer I showed you earlier which was the CD and the CD recorder uh, this is what I did many 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 years ago we used to trade back and forth we used to put lists online and and show uh, traders what we had or what I had and they would do the same and then we'd pick out maybe 20 20 CDs to record and send back that they didn't have uh, a lot of these that are uh, on CDR. I do have on CD or vinyl now. Some of them I don't, but most of them I do. And uh, in addition, some more vinyl. I just don't have room in that other room to put all the vinyl that I have. Uh, and so I got some seven inch down there. So also over here is where I have my movie collection, which is about 700 movies. And I also uh, collect Hot Wheels. And I have uh, a, a two set uh, six Beetle set. Actually, there it, it's a set, two sets, six different cars in the set. And then I uh, picked up uh, the Yellow Submarine here just recently. So uh, I do that. Uh, my Star Wars stuff on Hot Wheels. My Batman stuff on Hot Wheels and then uh, I got my five packs, six packs uh, of stuff in there. So anyway, this is what is out here in this room. So anyway, uh, 
as you can see that a uh, lots of stuff and then of course uh, another poster one of my favorite power thrash bands which is uh, Savage Messiah good stuff there and then we're gonna go into this room which is uh, my bedroom here which is my third system I have and I have uh, one of my first receivers I ever ever owned and it is a, uh, a JVC uh, RX 309 FM digital uh, plays phono CD uh, turntable uh, very reliable one time I thought it was gonna go out I mean because one of the channels was kind of going out but I don't know it just for some reason snapped out of it and it's been a damn good receiver and then of course I have a pioneer here which is a 18 changer with the with the, uh, a magazine uh, I don't think this is playing very good anymore I've tried it uh, so I, I, I think it's time to uh, either get it fixed or replace it with something new and then I have another turntable which is a Pioneer PL600 uh, that I also recently put a new belt on and a new cartridge and uh, these are these two belt driven cart or album turntables that I had were were from the 80s so they've been around a long time again uh, people think that when they don't play anymore their their time is up it's not true you can also fix the belt you can you can get new cartridges for them in this day and age with the internet anything is possible and then of course I run this one with the Pioneer uh, 301's two ways and awesome little speakers um, again I don't I just use this room as a backup um, I do play vinyl in here a very very little but uh, anyway and then of course more CDs uh, I don't have room out in the living room. I don't have room in my metal cave. And uh, I think in this rack, I, this rack we were doing some remodeling at a pharmacy and they were getting rid of all these racks. And they're all adjustable and I kept two of them. And this is one of them that I, I kept. The other one was with the DVDs. And uh, I think I have probably almost a thousand in here. And then, of course, some more box sets down here. Uh, some Accept, some Mob Rules, some Grave Digger, uh, some ACDC posters, uh, patches, uh, just a lot of good stuff here. So, uh, <clears throat> anyway, this is what I have for gear and stuff and music and DVDs. And uh, hope you enjoy a little tour. And uh, you can leave me a comment below in my YouTube page and uh, let me know what you think and uh, if I got it if you guys got any questions just let me know and I'll uh, hopefully try to answer so this is Metal War God and also check out my uh, radio show on Wednesdays Metal Uprising on SonicAsylumRadio.com it starts at 7 p.m. and it goes till 1030 usually have interviews and this week I have Seventh Calling and Flames of Fury, so check it out. So as I always say, keep it loud, keep it heavy, keep it metal, and I'll see you next time, and enjoy your evening, guys.